Drop a like on the video if you are hyped for the return of Tilted Towers. The Tilted Towers update is nearly here. We'll finally see the return of the beloved Tilted Towers on the 18th of January. But there's plenty more going down in this update and in the future of Fortnite. Starting with the IO Cave point of interest. If you haven't seen on the map already, IO Drills have made their way up onto the map. And if you guys remember during the chapter two ending live event, the seven helped us escape, the island flipped, and the IO was stuck in the middle of the island but now they've broken through and found their way back onto the Fortnite island where they'll be at war against the seven after they continue to argue over the control of the zero point the io cave also known as covert canyon will be very similar to the grotto and will be the brand new headquarters facility for dr sloan and the imagined order with the return of dr sloan and the io we'll finally see the mythic smg added into the game as well currently the io guards protecting the drill are carrying an smg so expect all of this to be added in the Tilted Towers update. And if you thought that was cool, then you'll be excited to hear about the return of treasure maps. How cool were these back in the day following the map to find buried treasure chests? But well, Epic have recently updated the files of this item so it's not stashable in the new tents. It's currently unknown when the release for these could be, but expect them here in game in the very, very near future. I mean, treasure maps are cool, but this might be even cooler a brand new healing item. I mean, we've only just got the shield kegs in game and these things are awesome, but Fortnite are currently in the works on the brand new healing item and it's called Pizza Party. This new consumable is literally what the name says. It's a pizza. It comes with eight slices and each time you eat a slice, you'll get either 25 shield or health per slice. Pretty overpowered if you ask me. Unfortunately, there is no release date for this item just yet, but not to worry because we've got a brand new animal arriving on the island Meet Buttercake the Dinosaur. Look how cute it is. Finally, after a month of waiting, these dinosaurs will be roaming around the map. If you haven't noticed, they're currently hibernating underground in the snow at the moment, and as soon as the snow thaws, they will be here. We get a good idea for the size of these dinosaurs in the recent Boba Fett trailer from Fortnite. A couple of things you need to know before they're added in game. If you shoot at Buttercake, it will attack you and destroy any buildings, and judging by the size of them, they'll do a lot of damage. But if you end up killing Buttercake the dinosaur, the meat they will drop will give you 50 health each time, which is is going to be super useful. New animals are awesome, but what about new NPCs? There are three brand new NPCs to enter the Fortnite Island here very, very soon. Whether it's in this Tilted Towers update or in the future, it's unknown, but one of the NPCs Hypex talks about here is Mary Jane, who will sell an infinite web shooter for 400 gold at the Daily Bugle. Real quick, remember all them presents we got during Winterfest? They were all from Mary Jane. The other two NPCs are unknown, but Hypex suggests that one of them might be the Green Goblin, simply because of the Foundation's glider animation we see in the season's promo art. I mean, talking about skins, you'll be happy to know there is a new icon skin on the way. Yep, that's right. It looks like Ali A is set up to be the next icon skin in Fortnite, with the Fortnite Discord literally mentioning all icon skins in Fortnite, but then at the top, a famous quote from Ali A himself. I wonder what this skin's gonna look like. Every icon skin in Fortnite that we've had so far looks amazing. I'm just hyped to see what this one's gonna look like. Still on the topic of healing items, this isn't expected to come out anytime soon, but we've got footage of it. It's called the Shield Aura. It has infinite healing ability. It pretty much heals everyone around you. This does a maximum of 50 shield, which is pretty overpowered, but it is a legendary item to be fair. You got friends that are always going down in Fortnite. Don't worry, you've got their back. If you're a team medic, this is the item for you. To be fair, it is a legendary item. As you can see, you wear it as a back bling. How cool is that? You'll be a moving mobile medic at all times, constantly healing your teammates. Your squad is gonna love you. Another item that's recently been leaked is the Home Wrecker weapon. Yep, yeah, this is a leaked weapon that's expected to come out sometime in the early part of 2022. 
We don't even know what this looks like yet, but leakers have found out that it's a pistol that does over 400 damage to builds. Like, that's crazy. It also shoots once every two seconds, so it's not going to be super overpowered. I'm expecting it to be pretty much like the hand cannon 2.0. This thing is going to be awesome. Now, like a lot of the others at the moment, this doesn't have an expected release date. But what if I was to tell you a new vehicle is on the way? We've got cars, we've got boats, we've got quad crashes, but what about a blimp? Like I said, it won't be arriving in this Tilted Towers update, but it'll be here in game very, very soon. You'll soon be able to like scout enemies from the sky with your sniper. I just really hope we'll be able to drive it. I mean, the last time we saw it was way back in season nine of chapter one, but they weren't drivable. They were just flying around up in the sky. I don't really know what they were doing. I don't really know why a blimp is also necessary in Fortnite, but I don't really care. I don't really see much use for it, but regardless, it's gonna be a super, super super fun vehicle. Now, believe it or not, again, there is another healable item in Fortnite that's in the works that is set for the future of Fortnite, and it's called the Squad Team Hill. It's very similar to the keg that we just got in Fortnite, but instead, you hold this over your head and it'll heal all your team in one burst. Kind of similar to the bandage bazooka you're used to. It currently has a cooldown time of three minutes in game, which is quite long, which I guess kind of balances out how overpowered it is. As you can see, it instantly gives your whole team a bunch of health. This thing, when it enters Fortnite, is gonna be ridiculously overpowered if you get your hands on it. The new animals, the new points of interest, they're all cool, but one thing everybody's been waiting for now is creative modding. It was teased to us at the beginning of chapter two, and we haven't seen anything to do with it since. That was up until recently. Tim Sweeney, the CEO of Epic Games, officially announced we'll be seeing Creative 2.0 modding sometime in 2022, which will turn Fortnite from not just a battle royale, but to an open world sandbox, kind of like Minecraft or Roblox. So it won't be in this Tilted Towers update. Obviously, it's going to be a huge update. Maybe it will be introduced at the beginning of one of the new seasons, but it's something definitely to look forward to. Tornadoes were added to the game recently, a great new way to rotate around the map but what you didn't know is that you'll be able to use buzzer cake to rotate around the map as well that's right on top of this dinosaur will be a blowhole similar to the hot pools in season 8 of Fortnite. you'll be able to travel around the map effortlessly it seems like buzzer cake is going to have quite a few uses in Fortnite. not only will you be able to kill it for me ride around on it on the map but you can also use the blowhole on top to rotate around the map i can't wait till they add in game in this Tilted Towers update. New points of interest in Fortnite are always cool, but nothing gets bigger than this announcement. The 18th of January is Tilted's birthday. Let's give a round of applause for Tilted Towers. Winterfest has ended and now the snow is currently melting. And if you've been hiding under a rock, then you've just heard me right. Tilted Towers will be making a return, yes. Along with Buttercake the Dinosaur, it's pretty much the worst kept secret of this chapter. We literally have a loading screen in the battle pass with Tilted Towers on the side. All I can say is, when Tilted Towers arrives in the next few days, prepare for the servers to go down and for everybody to land there. And that is everything you need to know about the Tilted Towers update and future updates coming in Fortnite. There's a ton of stuff going on. Check out one of my videos up on the screen here. I'll see you guys over there.